Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to another LibGDX Toolbox Tooltip. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about porting our game to uh, the Android device. So we're going to be taking this little game that I've created. It's not really a game. It's just a little demo here uh, with box 2D lights. And we're going to put it on our Android. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, stick with me. The first thing you're going to want to do is after your game is completed, go to the Android's um, uh, folder over here and then go to the Android manifest. You're going to see down in here under application and activity, you're going to see screen orientation. If your game is a landscape game, which means, you know, uh, facing, you know, sideways, then you're going to do landscape. Otherwise, you're going to type in a portrait here. Our game is currently a landscape, so we're going to keep it at that. So the next thing we're going to do is set up our phone to become a developer phone. And so what I want you to do is take your phone. You're going to go to your options settings here. We're going to scroll down to about phone or about device. Click on this. Now, um, mine is already enabled, but what you're going to do is see this where it says build number. I want you to click it seven times, okay? And you should see some stuff down here counting down. Um, this is made so the normal user can't accidentally stumble onto developer tools. So you click build number seven times and you'll have developer mode enabled. Now inside your settings, go to developer options and uh, you should see uh, USB debugging. And so we're going to make sure that is checked and go ahead and go back. Now what I want you to do is go up here and we're going to select the Android uh, connection. We're going to hit run. Um, it'll take a little bit the first time. Uh, make sure that your phone is plugged in by USB connection. You should see something like this pop up where you can select your device. We'll click OK. Um, it will install, if you're using it for the first time or installing your game for the first time, it'll take a little bit to install on the device. Um, you should be able to see here. Now, let's see. So now you can see that my game has gone into landscape mode as we would expect. We can run the game and sorry, the emulator is a little bit sluggish or the... Uh, the visor here that I'm using to show. But here we go, we got our game running on the Android device, two thumbs up. Now you can actually disconnect your, uh, your phone from the computer. You could go to apps and you could find your game and it's named Overlook Demo, which is the game that I was using earlier, or the demo I was using earlier. You can click on it and you can run it as normal away from the computer. So now you got a running game on your device away from the PC. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're like, Brent, I got this game on my phone. That's great and all, but I want to share it with my friends. I want to share it with the world. How do I do that? So we need to sign an APK uh, so we can upload, uh, basically create a file that we can upload to Google Play. So let's do that now. So first off, you're going to go to build, generate signed APK. You're going to click the module for Android and click next. Um, if you don't have a Google uh, key store, basically you can think of a key store as a keychain where you're going to keep all of your keys to update and uh, submit your games to Google Play. Um, so you can create a new one. Uh, you'll create the path to your keychain first and you'll password protect that keychain. Then you're going to create a key specifically for this uh, game. And so you'll create something like overlay demo key you'll password protect it you'll put in your first and last name you know maybe your business your city your state your country code if you want some of these are optional i think you just need first and last name maybe in city state that's what i typically put in so you'll click ok with that it'll take you back to this screen and so you'll put in your keychain password here you'll select the key and if you already got a keychain um We'll have to put in, let's see, we got to put in my password here. Then um, you can select the key here if you have multiple keys. Then you'll put in the actual key password. Um, so we'll do that now. And then you'll hit next. Now you can release this for debug only, or you can actually do the, the final release of the game. We're going to do the final release and click finish. And it's going to go ahead and compile your game into an APK so we can submit it to Google Play. 
So once that's done, you'll see uh, generate signed APK uh, successful and we can reveal it in our folder here. It's going to pull up the base directory inside the Android folder. You'll see the android-release.apk and that's the file that you can basically drag on any Android device and install your game. So instead, we're going to upload it to the Google Play Store. So open up a browser, go to play.google.com slash apps slash publish. And of course you need a Google Play uh, like uh, publisher account to do this. So that's another tutorial altogether. You know, you have to, I think it's $5 or something like that. So you're going to come to your console here, your developer console. You're going to click add a new application. We'll title this overlay demo and click upload APK. Now we need to select the APK that uh, we did earlier. So to click this button right here, upload your first APK to production, browse your files, go to the folder uh, that we set our uh, Android APK to. So Android release .apk. click OK. This will upload and there you go. So after that is done uploading, you'll see overlay demo here in your developer console. Now there's a few more things that you have to do before you can actually publish the app to the Google Play Store and that is filling out the store listing, which is basically descriptions of your game and pictures of it. Um, content rating, which is how, what age group is this game for, and then pricing and distribution. One thing to note, I believe as of this point that if you set your game to free, you can never change it to paid, so make sure that you're uh, not ever wanting any uh, cash. Of course, you can do ads and stuff like that, but... Um you can't ever charge for your game if you initially set it to free. Um, and then um, what you'll do is after all these green check marks are lit up, you'll click, uh, click publish app. And there you go. You've submitted your first game to the Google Play Store. Two thumbs up. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Of course, if you submit your game and you make a lot of money, remember your roots, remember me, because come on now. No, really. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. But most importantly, please share it. I'm trying to grow this channel, and you guys have been an amazing help and a cool community to communicate with. Um, if you're feeling generous and you get big in one of your games, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.